What's up, YouTube? It's the Paper Chaser, back with another exciting video. Today, a video I've been waiting to make for a long time because I think it will appeal to a wide audience, specifically uh, Bruriana collectors and collectors of beer cans, because today we're going to go through my collection of beer cans. Uh, they're all flat top beer cans. I don't have any um, cone top. Obviously, I would like to, but uh, right now my collection is pretty small, and so I'm going to show you and we're going to try and take them in order. Uh, so, first off, we've got this dazzling coal. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to guess it's coal. Could be cool. I'm not awesome with umlauts, but just a beautiful can. I, I love this one so much. It, it reminds me of, I don't know, ice cream or um, looks a little to me like uh, just a, a great design. And uh, here we've got coal, premium quality, extra light. Where's this guy made? Uh, Tacoma, Washington. So beautiful, just brewed and filled by Silver Springs. Just a great can. There's the top and the bottom. And that's always a mystery to me of why this thing is completely sealed. But I don't ask questions of my uh, collectors that I buy from. I just buy. And again, just a great, sick looking typography. The K, the O, the L. Just badass. Beautiful. First can. Uh, next one is the Brow House. A nice shield, simple design, uh, but well executed. Got a nice stein there in the corner. And uh, here we've got uh, two men beating a third man, probably for public drunkenness. Uh, but just a great shield. And please do not glitter. Obviously somebody did not because it found its way to my hands. Uh, this keg comes from, uh, well, difficult to tell, General Brewing Company indeed. They got their fingers in San Francisco, Los Angeles, Vancouver, uh, so one of those three places. But just a great Pilsner beer, another beautiful can. Okay, so next up is, oops, Hedrick. Nice, beautiful can here. Gold color. Uh, this guy, I think, is from New Jersey, if I'm not mistaken. The most beautiful state in God's America. Hedrick Brewing Company, Hamilton, New Jersey. Uh, just a beautiful can. I love the uh, the colors, the logo. Hedrick, um, this filigree here, the gold, just wonderful stuff. But does this bother you as well, YouTube? The offset beer stein hand. I don't know why it's not exactly in the middle, but maybe it's to line up with the two E's, uh, the space in between. But, gosh, that bothers me a little bit. But obviously not enough to knock at the can, even though I'm picky like that. Uh, just a great, beautiful can. Open from the bottom. And here, actually, I've got... A special little bonus for Hedrick. I've got a beautiful coaster here. I believe this comes from um, like the 1950s. Uh, uh, Just a beautiful uh, uh, coaster. And uh, in fact, I've got a, this is from my collection of beer coasters that I'm going to post uh, maybe when I hit uh, 200 subscribers. So hopefully later this month. In fact, I'll be posting my entire beautiful beer coaster collection. This is just a small taste of what's to come. But back to the beer cans. Okay, next is ABC Beer. Premium ABC Beer. Just a beautiful can. Properly aged. I'm sorry. Properly aged in the brewery cellars. Just a great design. I don't know. It looks like just this this can to me. Just a beautiful uh, just 1950s. Nice lines. Great. Simple. Doesn't get more simple than the ABCs. 
And this guy here, actually, I've got um, another one because uh, it's like a matching uh, a green. This guy in green also, they equally look as good. Oh, and how could I forget that great little crest at the bottom. Fantastic. Uh, ABC, this guy who... Nah, I'm doing this all lefty. So, just a great can. And now we're getting into uh, uh, the cream of the crop. This guy is Billow, possibly Billow. Maybe a nice uh, 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 I was trying to say Yugoslavian, but then I forgot Yugoslavia doesn't exist anymore. Um, a nice uh, Billow. Let's go with Russian name, but uh, this is a Garden State light beer, uh, made in New Jersey, uh, brewed for Ludwig Company in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Oh, so I guess not New Jersey. But uh, just a beautiful can, and I don't know, maybe this has like an Irish. Yes. <laughs> Does it ever. It's got quite an Irish theme. Aaron Gobra. Oh, happy St. Patrick's Day to you. 1979. Oh, below. Yeah, so it's not below. It's below. What's going on here? B-I-L-O-W. That's him. Uh, Faith and Megora. It's a beautiful Garden State beer. Oh, oh my gosh. Strong beer. You're telling me now? Beautiful stuff. Just a great design. Mm, I'm not crazy about the back, but I am insane about the front. That's why I bought this guy. It does come in other colors. Maybe I'll pick them up uh, too someday. I am a, just a giant fan. Oh, before I cover them up, uh, in the back there are my great um, uh, soda crates. And in fact, uh, we're going to get to some soda bottles in a second. That's right, because it's not just cans here. Okay, so these last two are um, uh, probably the most beautiful in my collection. This is Croft Cream Ale. Just a beautiful can here. I guess, think these guys are in um, Massachusetts. Uh, obviously, that is to say they were in Massachusetts. Uh, the Craft Brewing, Craft Brewing Company. Um, yeah, it's a little too... Um, what's the word for this? Skunky to read. But um, obviously, my new Briana subscribers and fans can inform me all about what to call this pox-ridden condition of this can. But uh, I'm excited to hear from all of you about what you think about my collection. Um, this guy is just a beauty. Croft Cremale. These three fellas, I think they're called the Lemonheads. Dry, pure, sparkling. And um, I'm going to try. I wish we could get that guy's expression down there. But um, it's not showing up. Uh, not because of my camera, but because of the pockmark. But um, yeah, just a great design, great color, everything about this can. I love it so much. Uh, I'm going to try and actually restore it, even though I have no idea how to do something like that, but I'm going to try uh, maybe on like uh, practice on a couple other cans first, and I'm going to try and get that guy to come back to its amazing beauty. And last but not least for the cans is this beautiful Bantam beer by Gerbil, nationally famous for good taste. Yeah, not just uh, good tasting beer, good tasting design. Just a great keg lined, private stock, global beer. Oh, this can, I love it so much. Look at the cock, the brilliant cock on this thing. Just fantastic. Oh, and this can makes me feel like a real man because it's tiny and my hand I feel like Andre the Giant when I'm holding this can. Have you ever seen those pictures? God, it makes me just feel inadequate in, in every letter of the word. But this guy is uh, just a beautiful example by Goebel. Oh, I love this can so much. And oh, here at the bottom, a little bit of history. The guy I bought this from bought this 
at the Cincinnati Convention in 1973. Oh, tell me, YouTube, were you there? What was it like? Oh my gosh, I can only imagine it was nothing but hot dogs and beer. What do I have here? A little bit of a sticker. What does it say? Something life. Advertise life. Hmm, so strange. I will. Um, does that pick up? Yes. Does it say advertise light? You tell me, YouTube. What do you think? Um, just a great can. And now we're going to get into some other stuff. Don't fall down on me, Croft. Nah. Uh, so now we're going to get into some bottles just because uh, I have them around and uh, I think it would be a nice addition to this collection. Uh, so, Coors, Banquet Beer, this is, uh, I believe this is called a Stubby. This is like a, a little beer, just like that other Bantam. This one makes me feel like a real man too, because I got little hands. And um, this is just a great throwback um, Coors beer. I believe this is like a bottle that came, oh, there you go, the 1936 Stubby bottle. Okay, so I don't have to look like a fool now and say, I believe these came out in 1943. Um, so this is a beautiful uh, Coors that, uh, let's look at the, the top, the banquet. Yes, I do love me a Coors. In fact, I'm gonna show off. I do have <laughs> another Coors. Uh, this is a banquet um, coaster for my collection. Again, 200 subscribers. And I'll be posting the whole collection. I must have, I don't know, like 50 different coasters. Um, okay, so these are uh, going into some more bottles. Gosh, this is a big one. I don't know where this is going to fit. This is called, um, what do we got here? Quack. K-W-A-K. -K. Quack. Quack. I don't know how to pronounce it, but, oh man, she's so big, she's, she's tilting my tray. Uh, just a giant, huge bottle. Uh, I picked it up because of the lettering there. The K-W-A-K looked good to me. It looks like it's a Belgian uh, bottle. It's gigantic, 75 uh, centiliters. <laughs> Is that what CL stands for? Maybe it's chlorine. Uh, authentic Belgian ale, beautiful stuff. Uh, yes, I picked this guy up because, well, frankly, I just thought it looked good. It's a nice color, good typography. Let's put that guy back there. All right, and uh, next up, another huge bottle. This guy is Victoria. Oh, just a beauty. I like this guy because of the size. Just a huge, big, big bottle of Cerveza. Fun to drink. One quart. I mean, obviously, uh, uh, just uh, overkill, but I think the bottle fits this fat little, um, I don't know who he is, the Mexican Pope. Um, he's got something in his hand, a shell, maybe a beer. But um, this guy's just a great bottle. I like the design. It's like uh, painted glass, beautiful stuff. And Victoria at the back, great. Again, just a great logo, good typography, just beautiful stuff. Um, and now we're going to get into a couple weird things. Because this guy technically is a bottle, but I want to show him off anyway because I don't know where else I'm going to be able to show him in my collection. So this is a bottle. This is a bottle of pills I picked up at an Indian grocery store. Because again, I just love the colors of it. Super simple. Just one color printing. Brown on this yellow bottle. Um, no, I guess actually this is a sticker, so two color printing. Uh, but just a great little logo of this nice fat Maharaja eating like a thousand uh, what we call Ladoos. Beautiful stuff. Um, I believe this is a appetite suppressant. Uh, I had to ask an old Indian lady to read the bottle for me. Oops. Oh, well. Uh, okay, next up we've got, uh, speaking of India, this is a, a, a soda bottle. Uh, this is Thumbs Up. 
This guy is uh, Indian soda, just a great logo. Uh, T-H-U-M-S, because uh, uh, they don't pronounce the B. Thumbs up. Uh, good stuff. It's a, yeah, yeah, indeed. Um, Indian soda. I can remember fond days of sucking the stuff back. Uh, just a nice bottle and a, a nice, again, painted logo. Okay. Next up is Oscar. This is a nice, um, beautiful hand-painted bottle. I don't know why I said hand-painted. I just meant painted bottle. Maybe by hand. You tell me, YouTube. Uh, that looks like offset printing to me, so maybe a, a misregistration. But nice butler bringing the soda to his thirsty master. Enjoy Oscar's beverages. Sparkling, refreshing. I don't know what color this soda was, or even what flavor it was, but I uh, maybe we'll put some like orange, orange color water in there or something. I think that would look good. Um, but just a beautiful soda bottle. And last in my collection is this, the crown of my collection. This is the Royal Crown, full bottle from 1936. This bottle drives me nuts. I mean, could you imagine being a kid in 1936 and sucking down this stuff like on a hot July afternoon? And then, uh, yeah, in 1936, it would have been like the height of Egyptology and uh, King Tut's tomb was just found like a few years before by Carter, right? So it would have just been like, ah, this bottle just like transports you to just like a, a magical place in time. And uh, you can see the, the, I can't tilt the bottle. I guess I can. So you can see the, uh, the shadow of that awesome pyramid is produced by the super dark liquid inside. Just a beautiful bottle and this guy was what uh from uh, atlanta georgia this is the real stuff man they love their cola down there in atlanta it's a beautiful bottle so that's my collection of bottles and cans thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments what your favorite can was and if you are a Briana can collector a can head uh, be sure to let me know about any awesome cans that you like, that you think are exceptional works of art that I should add to my collection because I am new and I'd love to acquire more of these stunning pieces of beauty. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe for more cool junk to look at.